putting an end to identity politics. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin Jackson here. It's Kevin Jackson Show. I always like to try to enlighten people when we talk about various others. So, for example, if I talk about Hillary Clinton, I don't need to bash Hillary Clinton. She's a, an evil person as far as I'm concerned. All she cares about is herself. But it's one thing to have my opinion about her, and it's another to give you proof of the things that I'm talking about. And we just went through Hillary Clinton's creepy video where she's saying to young women, you need role models. And and you need uh, to be confident about who you are growing up. And she's exactly right. Hillary's right. The problem is Hillary doesn't believe that young girls have role models, nor does she understand that the way for a girl to have a young girl to have confidence is to have two parents that really love her, a mother whom she can emulate and a father whom she will look for the same qualities in a man that she that her dad has in her mate. That's how we call the herd, so to speak. That's how women say, you know what? I'm not going to settle for the weak guy. I'm going to get myself a guy who really knows what he's, you know, what he's about. And hopefully he comes from a good family and yada, yada, yada. Why do you think, I mean, it sounds rather prudish, but it's very true. People would say when you were courting, they'd say, well, who's his family? And the young girl would go, well, he's one of the Johnsons that own the mini Mart. And they go, oh, the mini Mart Johnsons. Oh, okay. People cared about what your family was like. They didn't, you know, you could bring a girl home and, you know, dad would go, hey, yeah, it looks pretty cute. But mom would go, well, who's her? Tell us about your family. <laughs> oh, well, my daughter, my father, he's the GM over at blankety blank. And my mother, she's a housewife or whatever. That's how they would do these things. They would explain to you, and it was dead serious. It, oh, they and your pa- a parent. I'm, and now, by the way, I'm going to get into black and white here in a second. But parents would be like, you know, she's a nice girl, but she, you know, she's not from a good family, honey. Well, Mama, I just don't care about her family. You know? Well, you you ought to, son. Her daddy's in prison and blah. Now, using that as an example, I couldn't have gotten married any time with anybody because oh, Kevin's daddy's in prison. <laughs> But I'm just and, and you I could, I would say things, you know, if, I mean, if I was back in the day, I would have said, well, my father went to prison and I'm dang determined not to not to go. But you get what I'm saying? It was a big deal. But Hillary Clinton's talking about this stuff still out on the trail. People are saying, will you please just go away? And she says, quite frankly, bluntly, I'm not going away to the left. And I'll get to that in a second. But I was talking about these role models. Hillary Clinton says, we, we don't have underseas explorers. And w- w- where are the women generals? And where are the scientists? Well, they're out there. And there's plenty of them. And there's lots more than that. There are amazing attorneys. Remember the lady, the prosecutor, uh, Darden or whatever, that prosecuted OJ? She was a role model for a lot, lot of people. What about Oprah Winfrey? Is she a role model? There are women out there doing spectacular things, running large corporations, scientists, and and people creating things, manufacturing types, architects. But Hillary Clinton is saying, where are the role models? And you know why she's saying it? Because she's thinking politicians. Hillary believes herself to be a role model. A failed attorney turned political wife who's, who parlayed her career from a, from a bunch of men. And that's what she now believes herself to be. Uh, that's what's important to her. That's the thing that, that she believes makes young girls go, oh my gosh. Hillary thinks herself a role model because she ran for president twice and got her butt kicked. I'd ask you a very simple question. Compare Hillary's record to Marie Curie, to Carolyn Herschel. I mean, to any of the women that, I don't know who you emulate in terms of scientists, but there are lots of folks out there. Lise Meitner, I mentioned her earlier. These are people that have left their mark in science that continues to this day. 
I was talking about the women that they made the movie about hidden figures, but there was one in particular. Her name was Katherine Johnson. She was in NASA's segregated West Area Computers Division. And John Glenn wouldn't fly to space unless she had checked his numbers. They were the they were computers in skirts. They called them computers. Give me a computer. And they didn't mean it like uh, IBM. They meant somebody who can compute the trajectory, the angles and trajectories. So she worked, Katherine Johnson worked on the Redstone, Mercury, and Apollo space programs for NASA. And if you, I don't know if you've seen the movie or read the book or followed anything about these ladies, but they were getting the launch angles wrong and they were trying to, we were in a space race with the Soviets who sent the cosmonaut into space and it created the space race and we couldn't get there. And in this untold story, all these great minds that were of these white men who were working in NASA were, couldn't get these launch angles correct. And so we couldn't figure out how to get a, a big <laughs> rocket into space and back. And that's what the big issue was. And so this lady, they were giving her classified redacted data for her to do the calculations. She's like, I can't do these calculations about the data. And they go, well, that's what we have. And, we, and the scientists, the white guys would go, we don't need you to double check our work. And that was her goal. Her role was to double check their work. And so at one point, the guy who's over the launch commander, whatever they call the guy, he says, look, I'm not here for you to check the work of these amazing mathematicians. I'm here for you to think beyond their work to understand what we're trying to do and get me some numbers. And that's what she did. And built her reputation to such a degree that John Glenn goes, I ain't flying until she's verified the numbers. He didn't want to die in space. But Hillary Clinton says, no, 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 these girls need role models. No, they don't. They don't. There's plenty of role models for women. Plenty of them. They're just not in politics. Nor are they being discussed. And let me tell you, when you want to make it racial, let me ask you, what do you think is the, the, the future of black folks when 72% of the girls are being raised by single moms? 72% of black children are being raised by single moms. What do you think these young people have in terms of role models who are their role models jay-z the dude selling drugs on the streets is driving a nice car who are their role models why do they not have their whole family units to look up to their mother and their father the most formative figures in your life the people who are going to dictate who you like who you don't like who you uh befriend or not befriend that kind of thing These are the people that are going to set the standard and they don't exist or mom may exist, but she's on, she's got three, four kids and she can't give you the attention she needs to give because there is no rest for her. There is no, no peace. Somebody always needs something and she can't give out that much love because she doesn't have a partner. Or maybe it's worse for her because she's got to work extra. I don't know situation. You guys can make come up with any scenario you want. And I guarantee you, we can find it for you. So Hillary Clinton understands what it takes for a young woman to get, you know, to feel good about herself, but she does nothing to address it. And neither does her party. The Democrat party does not care about these young girls in the ghetto who are being raped on Facebook, who are, are being demoralized in rap videos and all other kinds of ways. She doesn't care about them. She doesn't care about the young boys who are doing it because they have no respect for women, but she'll make you believe it. She'll make you think she does. The Democrats will make you think they care about these folks. Hillary Clinton says, my career as a candidate is over. I'm done. I'm not running for office. But for those, including Democrats, who would like her to just go away, she says, well, they're going to be disappointed. I'm not going anywhere. I have the experience. I have the insight. I have the scars that I think give me not only the right, but the responsibility to speak out. She believes she's earned the right and the responsibility to speak out because Hillary Clinton knows what's going on. What happened in her book. So she wants to talk about. 
And she calls out sexism in politics. Sexism, it's everywhere. Just look for it. I talked to a liberal on the plane the other day. I go, show it to me. Show me your sexism. Well, Kevin, you know we don't make the same amount of money. I go, that's absolute nonsense. I, I said, prove it. G- give me an example where you go, this person, and I gave her examples of where I negotiated and said, I know girls that came out of college with me that got paid less, but it was because they were bad negotiators. She couldn't do it. He won't stop until he's the top-rated radio talk show host in America. What kind of weird competitive freak are you? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.